sure you guys enter my current giveaway. Details will be in the description box. So I'm starting with a few hyperpigmentation areas on my forehead and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in 355 Coconut. This is actually going to be a much better routine versus me using a color corrector. Normally I use yellow. So this is a brush that I'm using from Walgreens or Walmart, any drugstore. And look how much coverage I've already got from that one little spot. So I'm just going to apply the foundation. Again, this saves so much more time versus doing a lot of color correcting. As you can see, it really does the job because my eyelids were like super dark. Also, this foundation is perfect for all day stay. It literally stays on for 24 hours. This is a matte foundation, so it does kind of turn matte like super quickly. So, I mean, I just move pretty quickly, but it still spreads around as you can see. And I normally only need about two to three, maybe four pumps for my entire face. Now using my Black Opal setting powder, this is the um, deluxe setting powder from, like I said, Black Opal. This is the color medium. They also have a deeper tone color and a neutral color and a lighter color. And this is amazing for like not getting any flashback and you don't have to let it bake or anything like that. I just kind of damp dampen the sponge a little bit and I just apply it as is and it really keeps my foundation and my concealers in place. And it doesn't make me look ashy or give me that like chalky look when I take pictures with flash. Now I'm using my favorite um, setting spray. This is by Wet n Wild. This is the natural photo focus setting spray. And that's just me being extra. And it kind of got in my eye. <laughs> but it gives you a natural glow and it gives you like a little shimmer. And it makes your face look really dewy. So this is the Maybelline, uh, Mar I think Mario, I can't remember. But this is the um, highlighter. I'm going to leave it in the description box. And this is the one everyone has been talking about. So I just apply a little bit on my cheekbones. And it is kind of golden. So I don't know. It may make me look a little extra. 
and so I had to my camera died so I did do my eyebrows off camera and for lipstick I'm wearing or I'm going to apply the wet n wild uh, mega last catsuit and I'm gonna leave the actual name in the description box I kind of have forgotten already but I didn't like this color I don't know why but I wanted to just go ahead and use the um, my favorite go-to this is the brown sugar by Ruby Kisses it's two dollars and I would prefer this color by itself anyway so yeah <laughs> and then I added um, the color dune by Ruby Kisses they, they have a forever matte lipstick that reminds me of the Kardashian collection and the um, Kylie lipsticks you can see the packaging packaging is like very similar so I'm gonna use a lip liner a brown lip liner just to make it look natural and less donut lip like <laughs> I should have blended my eyebrow underneath, like on the left side. Yeah, that looks atrocious, but we're just gonna pretend that it's blended. So I'm gonna be wearing these uh, basic $1 lashes, number 38 from the beauty supply store. It's a it's a very popular, unbranded, like, <laughs> brand. I don't know what to call it. But um, after one more spray, of course, of the natural setting spray, I think this locks in everything for good. And it just gives me a natural glow girl look at that even if I didn't have highlighter it still would be really nice and glowy okay so here's a quick slow-mo on the full coverage without like contouring and all that extra stuff so now I'm gonna struggle with these eyelashes but I do like this look even without eyelashes this is just pretty much optional and to show you guys how I do my lashes and my bottom lashes how do I get them to like you know really pop and oh, it's sloppy, but I mean, it comes together later on. <laughs> okay, so this is the trick for my bottom lashes. I just look down while I just brush the wand or whatever back and forth. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic, and this is what gives me like length, but I also go back with the Maybelline Big Shot, the Makeup Shayla addition and it really gets my lashes like popping at the end and a trick to how to apply your lashes or how, you know how to do them is just to look downwards and then apply the middle first and then fix the edges or the ends if that makes sense because once you place it in the middle it's going to lay perfectly like along the lash line and if you need to like get any excess glue out just use the uh, tweezers and these are the flat tweezers this really helps I mean shout out to you girls who know how to do it without tweezers because it's a struggle for me without tweezers and I got too much glue on there so yeah so I showed this part because if you do mess up you can always just um, use a little concealer or just use a, a sponge and just you know cut out the marks or mascara or anything like that and then just start over Okay, so I straightened my bob out, which is on sale for my spring sale. Make sure you check out the description box for those details. And don't forget to enter my current giveaway for four or five different types of giveaways for clothing stores and Victoria's Secret Pink and Bath and Body Works. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe and check out my previous videos.